Well, today is a big day for President Obama. It is the first test of his new administration as the House votes on his economic stimulus package. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant joins us with more. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Julie. Well, the outcome of today's vote in the House really isn't in doubt, given the Democrats' majority, but President Obama continues trying to woo Republicans. He wants bipartisan support. The president made a point of meeting Republicans on their turf, heading to Capitol Hill for separate sessions with the House and Senate GOP. Uh, the American people expect action. Uh, they want us to put together a recovery package that puts people back to work. The president's press secretary noted that Republican leaders didn't seem in a mood to be persuaded. Now, I'll leave it aside that some members of the leadership invited the president to come up and announce their position on the bill before he got there. And afterward, nothing had changed. We think uh, this bill could be a lot better because at the end of the day, we want this bill to work. This bill has to work uh, to help uh, revive our alien economy. Now, the stimulus is expected to pass the House today on a party line vote. The changes, if there are any, will come in the conference that follows the Senate vote. And in the Senate, there does seem to be a spirit more of bipartisan compromise at work. The Democrats have set themselves a deadline, though. They've got less than three weeks to bring this bill to the president's desk. Jill, or Harry? That's all right. Thanks very much, Bill. We are joined now by Mark Zandi, chief economist at Moody'sEconomy.com. He testified about the stimulus plan yesterday before the House Budget Committee. Good morning, sir. Good morning. First things first, there's a big full-page ad in this morning's New York Times. Basically says it's signed by what? Looks like a couple hundred economists around the country saying, we don't need this stimulus package. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, I, <laughs> well uh, fortunately, there are thousands of economists, and I think the uh, vast majority of economists uh, on uh, the liberal side, the conservative side, think we do need a stimulus, along with other policy steps, but uh, we need stimulus. This package, though, as you look at it, isn't it more safety net than stimulus? There are tax cuts involved. There are, like, Medicare provisions for people who go out of work. There's a, there's a lot that's in there, money for education. That's not the sort of brick-and-mortar stuff that people thought the the stimulus package was going to be about? Well, it's about preserving jobs, and so that's uh, income support that's uh, helping people who do lose their uh, their jobs. It's, it's also aid to state governments, because if they don't get aid, they'll be cutting jobs mm -hmm. and other programs. Uh, it is about some tax cuts, which I think will be helpful, and uh, ultimately about infrastructure spending. Uh, that's a big part of it. Uh, that won't hit until 2010 and 11, but Given the way the economy is going, it's certainly going to need help then as well. That's my question. Is Should we be looking for economic stimulus uh, phase two after this one gets passed? The uh, civil engineers of the United States issued their report on the bridges and uh, roads in this country and the infrastructure gave the, the country the grade of D. Why isn't there money in this thing right now to get this stuff up and running? Well, I think the problem with the infrastructure projects is it just takes a while to get the money out there and to get it uh, to work. Uh, you know, even building a highway, which you know, in, in theory sounds like a simple thing, uh, is a very involved project uh, with lots of moving parts. And you want to do it right. You don't want to waste the money. And you want to make sure that it, it, it gets out there in a very effective way. So it just takes some time. But you bring up a good point, and that is uh, I do think uh, the package, the stimulus package, could be made better. In my view, it should be bigger, and it should be made bigger with bigger tax cuts, because that, although it doesn't pack the same economic punch as infrastructure, can get into the economy more quickly, and certainly the economy needs help now. Yeah. A couple of the Republicans actually said President Obama sounded like a Republican in their visit, of, uh, in his visit up to Capitol Hill yesterday. Are the Republicans are going to sit on the sideline and watch this go by. They're going to vote no, or are some of them going to get on board and say, we're with you? Yeah, I think there'll be some support for this. I mean, uh, this is a process. Uh, you know, I think once it uh, makes its way through the Senate into conference that uh, uh, they'll find a middle ground so that enough Senate uh, Republicans vote for it, which I you know in my view is very important because uh, the stimulus is more than dollars and cents. It's about shoring up confidence, and people aren't going to have confidence in this unless there is a, uh, uh, support from, from both sides of the aisle. All right, Mark Zandi, thank you so much for your time this morning. I do appreciate thank, it. Thank you. All right.